<laughs> Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to show you how to make one of these. Let's get into it. Alright, so as I'm sure you guys are aware, any of you cinema fans out there, May the 4th, Star Wars Day is just around the corner, so I thought we would jump into After Effects today and I would show you how to make a lightsaber from scratch. So, fire up After Effects and let's jump into it. So as you guys can see, loading up After Effects, I've got my clip here, it's just me swinging a piece of PVC pipe around in acting as my in lieu lightsaber because I kind of don't own a lightsaber. Does anybody own a lightsaber? Some people do. Pretty sure Peter McKinnon's got a dope one in his office. But I've got a PVC pipe, that's what we're going with. We're gonna go ahead and use this. So the first thing we need to do is generate a new solid layer to act as our lightsaber base. So you're going to want to go ahead and click layer, new and solid or control Y. And in here, you're going to want to make sure it's a white layer, hit OK and hit OK. Obviously, that's going to white out your entire footage. So you want to come down to this little eye icon and turn this layer off so you can't actually see it. What we're going to do is we're going to mask around the lightsaber and it just makes life a little bit easier if you turn that layer off. So I'm going to go ahead and rename our solid layer and I'm just going to call this one lightsaber just to make it nice and easy to remember. Then I'm going to come up here and grab our pen tool. So we're going to go ahead and mask out the lightsaber on our solid layer. But what I'd like to do is stick to four points. If you use more than four points, it gets a little bit confusing. You lose track of what's the top and what's the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure we've got our four points. On this point on the top, I like to add a bit of a curve just because it gives it a bit more of an authentic lightsaber shape. Click your next point and head back to the beginning. So once you've masked out your lightsaber in the very first frame, we're gonna have to go through and do this for every single frame of our footage. And it can be a bit tedious, but I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up. But first, let me explain what it is you wanna do. First off, make sure your lightsaber layer is selected and hit M on your keyboard. And what you're gonna wanna do is click the keyframe box for mask path. If you don't click this before you start, you're going to do what I've done a whole bunch of times when working on After Effects projects, and that is go through the whole thing and keyframe everything out, be as meticulous as you like, then you realize that you haven't actually made any keyframes and you have to go back and do it all over again. So make sure you hit that keyframe box because you're going to thank yourself for making sure you do it. So in After Effects, you're going to want to go ahead and hit Control and then the right arrow key, and that's going to step ahead by one frame. Click on your lightsaber path and just go ahead and follow the path of your lightsaber. Now this bit, you wanna make sure you get a bit of motion blur. You wanna be kind of deliberate with your path making, path making, oh, I guess that's the term. But you can see I've left a bit of space here and this is what I'm talking about because when a lightsaber swings, it doesn't necessarily swing and stay to the confines of the lightsaber. There's always that little bit of blur. And if you leave a bit of space on the mask, you're gonna get that same blur. So again, I'm just going to hit control and right arrow key and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my mask is over the lightsaber. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up this masking process and I'll check back in with you guys when it's done. So once you're done masking out your shot, you're going to have something that looks a little like this, a weird yellow line or whatever line your mask happens to be and it should follow your lightsaber or in my case my pvc pipe so what i want to do now is go ahead and turn my white layer back on so if i hit this little eye icon again you can see it turns on my layer i can close out of my mask properties click anywhere else and if i hit play you'll see that it follows the saber pretty accurately but at the moment it just looks like a solid white layer because that's what it is and we don't want it to look like a solid white layer we want it to look like a glowing lightsaber so you'll be pleased to know the tough work is over. There's just a few more steps to get this looking more like a lightsaber. So let me show you how to do that now. So the next thing to do is copy this lightsaber solid layer four times. So you end up with five layers. So all you wanna do is hit Control D four times, or if you're on Mac, it's Command D four times until you end up with five layers. Hold Shift and click on the bottom layer. Once you've got all five layers selected, double tap the M key and that's gonna open up all of the mask properties. Now the only one we are actually interested in is the mask feather. We're going to adjust these layer by layer so we end up with like a nice feathered glowing lightsabery goodness you'll you'll see what i mean so go ahead and on the top layer you want to set this one to three the second layer you want to set to 10 the third layer you want to set to 30 then the next one is going to be 
60 and the last one is going to be 120. Now if you go ahead and close these properties really quickly, which you know, wasn't very quick, but you can see now if I play through, we've got a glow to our lightsaber. And it's looking pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking so far. There's a couple more steps to getting it to look pretty much perfect. So we want a black layer to act as a base layer for our lightsaber. Hit layer, hit new, and hit solid. This time we're gonna make a black layer, exactly like we did with the white layer. Hit okay, and hit okay. Now you're gonna to wanna to drag that to the bottom of all of your lightsaber layers, and you'll see if you play through now, you'll just end up with just the mask, just the saber, swinging around on that black background, looking pretty cool but that's not exactly what we want. So the next thing to do is to hit shift, select all of these layers, right click and click pre-compose. What that's gonna do is basically make one layer out of all of these layers that we can then apply and apply our effects to and it won't affect the rest of our footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this one lightsaber, hit okay. And you can see we've got lightsaber clip and lightsaber. If I go ahead and turn this layer on or off, you'll see it's our footage on one layer and our lightsaber on another layer. Now in order to get all of the black background to disappear, all we have to do is change this from the normal blend mode to screen. And as you can see, it applies our lightsaber. If I hit play now, we've got a cool white glowing lightsaber. It looks pretty cool, but if you are a Star Wars nerd like me, you're gonna know that you are either a Jedi or you are a Sith. And that means coloring our lightsaber. Now there's a couple of ways to do this, but the easiest and simplest way, in my opinion, is to use a curves adjustment layer. So we're gonna go ahead and come up to effects and presets and just type in curves. And we're gonna click and drag that onto our lightsaber layer. Now, for example, if you were a Sith, not I'm saying you are, but if you were, hypothetically speaking, of course, you wanna go ahead to the over to the red channel and just bump the red all the way up and you'll see you get this awesome red glowing lightsaber fit for a Sith. Now obviously you can play around with these colors all day long as much as you like and you can get pretty much any variation on color that you want. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead, jump over to the red channel, bump the red up and that's it. I'm pretty happy with my lightsaber. So guys, that is pretty much it. That is how you get an awesome lightsaber in After Effects. There are a few plugins you can use that make that whole process easier. Unfortunately, there's none that do the masking for you, so that kind of sucks. You can use mocha tracking. I'm not particularly au fait with it. I'm not particularly comfortable with it. I prefer to do it manually, but if you do have a lot, that is another option. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you did like it, please go ahead, hit the like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. It'd be great to have you here. Leave me some comments. Let me know what your favorite Star Wars movies is. Let me know if you like the originals or the prequels. I, did, I mean, I, I don't think the prequels were bad. Um, if you like the new movies, let me know. Let me know down in the comments. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.